Okay, it looks like we up. All right, Shalom. Uh, as always, we are the Hebrew Israelites. We're not black, we're not African, we're none of the bywords and proverbs in which this wicked society has placed on our people. Uh, we are the Israelites of the Bible, according to the Bible. We fit the prophecies, uh, we fit um, the gifts, the curses, the blessings. Um, all of the, the scriptures uh, that you read are pertaining to so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. And so with that, uh, we like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shai, by Shem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, who teach and rule well, and peace and salutation uh, to the elect. So I have the, uh, the elder Taz Pa with me. And uh, basically, this lesson is just going to go in, into the spirit of how Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shai only reveals, you know, his secrets you know, unto his service, the prophets. And, and those secrets um, are a part of that covenant. Uh, but it's also a mystery because Esau, the so-called white man and Christianity and all these other way with doctrines and philosophies that he tries to, uh, that, he, that he actually falsifies. He wants the world to believe that anybody could be an Israelite. Anybody could be uh, in the covenant that the Lord has set up with uh, Israelites. And that's not true. Um, so uh, we're, we're just going to go through a couple of scriptures uh, that really kind of coincide how uh, the secret of the Lord is, is with the prophets, you know, and that um, that secret involves prophecy. That secret involves um, how we um, evolved as a people. It, it, uh, it involves the um, how we conduct ourselves, uh, the dietary laws. Um, it it actually uh, goes into who our enemies are as far as these other heathen nations. Um, and at the forefront of that being Esau, the so-called white man. So um, those are just a handful of the secrets through the spirit, Lord willing, you know, we'll be able to cover. And uh, I'm, I'm going to hand it over to the, uh, to the elder Taz Pa uh, for any opening comments or uh, statements he wants to make. And then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll get going with the lesson. Yeah, man. Hey, that's beautiful, brother. Beautiful intro. And, uh, it's like the apostles always say, this thing of ours, because it's it's exclusive. It's not it's not inclusive, it's exclusive. And it's only it's exclusive to the elect, the men that have uh that are of the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And that's it. You see what I'm saying? It's the reason why the scriptures mention a small sanctuary. And um, you know, I mentioned you know, in, in, in previous lessons, there's a reason why you don't see big crowds gather when brothers set up set up their camps, when they set up the altars of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah to preach this word, because it, for this thing to, to basically attract you, it has to, in some shape, form, or fashion, be already in you, you know? And, and one of the things that the brother mentioned before we, we got started is that, you know, the elect were, was set up from the foundation of the earth. And then that's one of the things that drew us to the apostles, drew us to the hearing of this word because it was already in us. See, this word has no part with the people of this world. And it's beautiful how the Heavenly Father set it up, that he set it up as a mystery, as a secret to where, you know, even in seeing, they see not. And even in hearing, they hear not because this, this word not accompanied with faith and not accompanied with the spirit. This basically this Bible is just a book. But when you add those elements, this book is life. When you add the element of faith and the element of the Holy Spirit, this book becomes life. And this world has no idea, man, what this, this Bible is truly about. And, and uh, you know, yeah, I, I would just just leave it at that brother we can get started okay con, con. um i'm gonna bring out that uh scripture you had talked about because it goes into that that little sanctuary but that also being only the house of david you know um that that lineage you know that was set up from the beginning of time you know those predestined men 
were the ones in which Yahweh Shimei were was going to reveal these secrets, these mysteries. Um, they were the ones in which uh, we had talked about on the highways and byways last week. Um, we're going to hear that voice of that shepherd, you know, of Yahweh Shah calling unto them, you know, saying, return unto me, you know, um, because we needed to be made whole. And uh, a part of us being made whole was this purification process that the Lord is placing us through. But once again, that was only for Israelites. You know, right. when we the house of David, that's only talking about Israelites. When you talk about the house of Saul, that's only talking about Israelites, you know? And so that lineage is one of the key things that Esau tries to manipulate and tries to, uh, uh, and tries to bring darkness around to where uh, you mentioned the word or anyone mentions the word Gentile and they say, well, see, we're the Gentiles. When even that in itself is a mystery and a secret that's only been revealed to the servants, the prophets. So, mm -hmm. you know, like, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get into a little bit of that through the spirit, Lord willing. But I'm going to start here at Ezekiel 11 and 16. It says, therefore, say, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, although I have cast thee far off among the heathen. Oh, man, that's beautiful. <laughs> mm. And and although I have scattered them among the countries, yet will I be unto them, so like it, yet will I be to them as a little sanctuary in the countries whether they shall come. Mm. And and really that's that that kind of kicks the door open as far as there were going to be a people that were going to be scattered into different countries. You know, as a as a part of a punishment, okay, as a as a part of the diaspora, okay, as a part of identifying with prophecy, which is another form of a secret or mystery that these harlot houses that uh, Esau's Christianity doesn't speak of. But it was only going to be that house, that little sanctuary that was going to be among these other heathen nations. So all people can't be that little sanctuary among heathen nations, if I'm being mm -hmm. clear. Mm -hmm. Only one group of people, Ezekiel's talking about that little sanctuary, that little sanctuary uh, uh, is referenced as the prophets of the Lord, Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You got something, brother? Yeah, we went into last Sunday, the um, well, the straight gate, Matthew 7 and 13, and it spoke on the, the, the wide gate and the broad way and said many that be that go in there at, you know? And yeah, this, this, this is that, that straight and narrow, that little sanctuary, man. It's going to be only a few that enter into this. You see, this ain't that broad way. So yeah, it kind of ties in. So yeah. Come on. I'm going to read that again. It says, this is Ezekiel 11 and 16. Therefore say, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, although I have cast them far off among, cast them far off among the heathen, and although I have scattered them among the countries, yet will I be to them as a little sanctuary. So, so that's prophecy that had to be fulfilled. You know, everyone uh -huh. else in history were, were uh, uh, they migrated, you know, Whereas our people, we were scattered. You know, when, when you think about um, uh, General Pompey, you know, you read in, in the book uh, 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 from Babylon to Timbuktu, you know, it, it talks about how we were fleeing Roman persecution. Okay. That was a form of us being scattered. You go into the uh, 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 Babylonian captivity. You go into the Assyrian captivity. You know, we were being scattered after being in captive to all of these other different countries. We were taken from our native land and driven into these other lands among the heathens. Everyone didn't, everyone does not fit that prophecy. It's only our people, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And it's so fitting because it happened to the, uh, the Northern tribes, you know, uh, Gad, Reuben, Issachar, uh, 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 Manasseh, you know, etc. Asher, it happened to Zebulon. It happened to it happened to all of the the, the uh, northern tribes, as well as the southern tribes. Judah, Benjamin, right. and Levi. 
That's right. So this prophecy where it says, therefore say, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, although I have cast them far off among the heathen, and although I have scattered them among the countries, yet will I yet will I be to them a little sanctuary in the countries whether they shall come. And that little sanctuary goes back to that that straight gate because not all um not all nations and clearly not any of the heathens are going to repent or going to be contrite, nor do they have the secret of the spirit. You know, back in the day, uh what was it? Was it McDonald's? It was some company they they said the secret sauce or the ingredients or something like that. It might have been a, another company. I think but that, that was McDonald's. It was okay, con. Um, and, and that's what Yahweh Shimei Al Shah has in that small sanctuary of Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. We are that that hidden uh ingredient that Yahweh Shimei Al Shah hasn't made known to the world. That way, when, when he returns, all of these men that were scattered throughout these various countries that heard the word of Yahweh Shimei Al Shah and hearkened unto it, then that prophecy will be made manifest that he was only dealing with the secret. So like it, he was only dealing with the prophets of the Lord in which he has placed that hidden secret and those hidden mysteries. Man, you mentioned prophecy. I got Revelation 19 and 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, see thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship Yahweh, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. So this whole thing of ours, is, you know, this is the testimony of Yahweh Shai, and that is the spirit of prophecy, and prophecy in itself is a mystery, you know? So that's how the Heavenly Father wrote it. You know, you can you can write a prophecy in plain words, but most of these prophecies are, are written as a dark saying, you know, or as a um, metaphor. Or, uh, you know, just like the um, uh, the woman that that rise, uh, sits upon the beast, you know, which, which that's a prophecy, but it's, it's also wrapped in mystery. So this, this whole thing of ours is a mystery. And like the brothers going into, if the spirit ain't with you, then you're not going to you're not going to be able to receive this. So, yeah, brother, I just wanted to bring that out because, yeah, you, you mentioned prophecy and prophecy is important because that's the whole essence of this thing of ours. That's the that's the testimony of Yahweh Shai. So, yeah, brother, you got it. That's right. Uh, this is real quick. This is Proverbs one and one. I'm going to start at the top. It says the Proverbs of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel. Once again, you know, we talked about that little sanctuary. We talked about the, the house of David. It's, right. it's the reason why um, when you read in the scriptures, uh, the bulk of uh, information talks about Israelites because this is a, a Hebrew Bible. When you go back and you look at um, the, the evolutions of Bibles, okay, this will always be referenced as a Hebrew Bible because it pertained to who? Hebrews, King David, King Solomon, okay? All of the other kings that came before and after us, even today, the prophets are Hebrews, Hebrew Israelites, Hebrew being named after uh, one of our, our forefathers, uh, Eber. OK, which mean uh, on the Pass. other side of the river. Past or. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. On the other side or. And so Hebrew is, is our uh, language, okay? And Israelite is, is our culture and, and our people. As far as uh, receiving that name from our forefather, Jacob, um, who was, uh, his name was, was changed to Israel. So, so the reason why all of this, the reason why all of this is being brought up is because when you read in the scriptures and it talks about men and it talks about King David and it talks about, uh, uh, Solomon, and, and you read in the New Testament, it starts talking about the lineage of Yahweh Shai. All of those are Israelites. And the reason why we're making a solid point to that is because only those mysteries 
and those secrets are going to be uh, uh, revealed to those servants, the prophets, who are also only Israelites. So it doesn't matter when you read in the New, uh, well, in the New Testament or the Old Testament about Gentiles. If it pertained to the Spirit, like when, when you go into uh, Stephen, when you go into uh, um, yeah, I think that's that's the one I'm, I'm thinking about specifically. Cornelius. Yeah, because they, they um, and, oh Cornelius, so like it, Cornelius, him and uh, Stephen. When when they talked about how they gravitated to the spirit of the word, that they they practiced the the rituals and customs of Israelites, that is based upon the spirit, and that spirit was only revealed to Israelites. Okay, you're not gonna have Esau. Uh, uh, abiding by this word, uh, just like the elder was talking about earlier. None of these other heathen nations are going to be able to receive this instruction. That's why I just wanted to make this quick reference um, here in Proverbs, the first chapter. It says the Proverbs, okay, which, which are, are forms of wisdoms, forms of, of sayings, okay, are, are precepts. The Proverbs of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel, emphasis to know wisdom and instruction to perceive the words of understanding to receive the instruction of wisdom justice and judgment and equity all of these things were are uh, a uh, a part of the covenant in which how by shimao shah made with our people only okay and we're going to get that in, in psalms the 25th chapter it says verse 3 to receive the instruction of wisdom justice and judgments and equity to give to give sub to, to give subtile subtile to the simple to the young man knowledge and discretion a wise man will hear and will increase learning a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels and so the elder have reference uh, Matthew the 13th chapter and how it wasn't given unto everybody you know it was only given to a small group of Israelites whether they be Israelites um, here Israelites in London Israelites in South America Israelites in Germany okay that spirit that secret of the spirit is what was going to uh, harness and, and, and have us realize this is instruction. This is wisdom. Okay. This is the the, uh, the subtleties of speech. Ooh, this is spirit, bro. <laughs> I wasn't even looking for this. It uh -oh. says, this is one and five. It says, a wise man will hear and will increase learning. And a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels. To understand a proverb and the interpretation, the words of the wise and their dark sayings. So going back to what you were talking about as far as right. how, um, the whore of Babylon, right? That That's a mystery, but it's a dark saying. So when we talk about um, that, that, that whore that sits on tops of many kingdoms, Esau is going to uh, de deflect any type of conversation leading to that being America, a.k.a. Babylon. But one of the precepts that Elder had quoted was that the testimony, that, that we have the testimony of Yahushua, which is the spirit of prophecy. That is a secret. Right. That is a mystery. That is a dark saying, which is be, which is uh, which the prophets of the Lord are casting light to, okay? Which we had talked about are, are uh, enlightening. It, and it said, verse 4, to give subtile to the simple to the young man, knowledge and discretion. Because all of these ways are really just walking in the spirit. You know, knowing that we're in an evil world, surrounded by wickedness, you know, so as we always quote, what, what manner of person are we to be in all holy conversation? Well, well, this is the holy conversation. Okay? This is the secret that Esau, the so-called white man, does not want our people to know, specifically the men. Okay? Because by you attaining to this wise counsel, by you attaining to these mysteries, these proverbs, the, uh, 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 this wisdom, 
If you are one of the pre predestined, hopefully elect men, hey amen. You know you have a purpose in life now. And your purpose yeah. isn't to fulfill what Esau, the so-called white man, has two-thirds of our people going down that rabbit hole uh, of darkness and, and you know death and uh, uh corruption. You got yeah, well, yeah, brother, it should be it should be sub give subtility. Subtility? What what did I say? I said subtile. Subtile. Okay, yeah, so like here, brother. Subtility. Yeah, it's that old English, man. It threw me off. <laughs> yeah, that's beautiful because um, you know, the, the uh serpent back in the garden was the most subtile beast of the field. And then Yahweh Shai, he, he gave commission when he was on the earth for us to be wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove. And we do that by these scriptures, the proverbs, the the uh the, the wisdom of Yahweh Shai, son of Sirach, uh you know, in the Ecclesiasticus, all that gives us subtility, you know. So this is just a, a side note, but the devil can't come with that bullshit no more. You know, right. he gave now through the Holy Spirit, which that's the mystery too. This wisdom. We we getting we getting uh subtility. So when Esau come with his his tricks and cut uh <laughs> chicanery and cunning, there you go. You know, we see right through it. You see? So, yeah, that, that's that's beautiful, man. Yep. Hey, yep. Real, real, real quick, just to add on to uh, land back what you were saying, uh, even uh, in, uh, is it Psalms 55, where it says his words were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. Right. So, so we don't go into every situation with Esau, the so-called white man, our enemy, and not believe that he's going to be peaceable. That he's going to uh, be our, our our friend, you know. E even when you know the scripture we read read a couple weeks ago, um, you know how the Lord will even cause your enemies to be at peace with you. That's only temporary, because war is still in his heart. But that's another form of that subtility, that wisdom that the Lord has given us. Really, if I mean, you can even equate it to understanding, right? Because once you understand something, you don't react. You don't. Um, you're, you're not as emotional about the situation. You're uh -huh. able to use wisdom against wisdom, you know. Versus uh, uh, initially, or for the you know from times past up until this point, Esau was using wisdom against emotion. Whereas now we're using wisdom of Yahweh Shai against the weak wisdom. Uh, left hand power of Esau, the so called white man, to where he cannot pull the wool over our eyes, per se. You got it, I right? beautiful, brother. Okay, oh, sure. I ain't got no which, uh, oh, which um, wanna... Psalms. Yeah, I want to. I mean, if you want to bring it up, it's Psalms 78. And yeah, I was thinking about that one five, or you, uh, you can start at, at either the top or two. But it goes okay. into, I mean, you you read it. Yeah, I was thinking about that one too, though. Yeah, I mean, and and once again, you know, we we've we've gone from, um, you know, the Book of Psalms to Proverbs to the testimony of Yahweh to Ezekiel, and all of these men are Israelites. The whole Bible, the Hebrew Bible, is only for Israelites. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then that's where Esau doesn't want these uh, secrets to be known to the world. Just like when we go in on Christianity, you know, we were, um, what's the word? Uh, we were incubated, okay? We were incubated in Christianity. So to be out of that and then to be able to help younger men or, or even older men, but, you know, specifically, you know, men, men that are... Uh, in tune with the spirit of the Lord, actually receive understanding, wisdom, knowledge, uh, subtility, you know, uh, 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 that, uh, that, uh, that hagnos anastrophe, you know, your, your conduct being sound, you know, uh, um, uh, having brothers around you, you know, to where iron sharpened iron. Hey, this is the last thing Esau wanted, you know, as, as far as, you know, these mysteries yeah. being, uh, harnessed and 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 uh, what's the word I'm looking for? And uh, developed in his servants, the prophets. Man, I, I just got a quick precept for you. 
And this is Isaiah 28 and 9, which says, Whom shall he teach knowledge? And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. For precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little. And uh, you mentioned about knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. And these Christians in the church, they don't even understand that this book is to be read precept upon precept. So you mentioned how we was in Psalms and, and Revelation. This is how you read the book. Now, if the Most High wanted everybody to get this, why wouldn't he just have it, have the, his, his, his servants, the prophet, scribe it in a plain way? But he had them scribe it to where it's a puzzle book. You got to mix and match these scriptures as uh, 2 Timothy 2 and 15 states, rightly dividing the word of truth. See, this book has to be rightly divided. And without the Holy Spirit, you're not going to rightly divide it. So, yeah, that, that, that's true, brother. That's true. Beautiful. I just wanted to bring that up, man, because, yeah, it said, whom shall he teach knowledge and whom shall he make to understand doctrine? And you have to be weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. And you mentioned how Christianity, you know, we was incubated in that shit. Yeah, you got to be weaned from that bullshit. That's why these Christians can't get it. You know, that's their, that's their Similac. That ain't even natural milk. That's their Similac. That, that infamil bullshit. God. But anyway, you, you gotta you gotta get off of that, man. You gotta get on this real knowledge. Now, this is that um that real milk. <laughs> yeah, the real milk. This is that Psalm 78 and 1. Mm -hmm. It says, Give ear of my people to my law, incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in, in a parable, I will utter dark sayings of old, which we have heard and known or, and or and our fathers have told us, right. We will not hide them from their children, showing to the generation to come the praises of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai and his strength and his wonderful works that he had done. For he established a testimony in Jacob. Who? Mm -hmm. For he established a testimony in Jacob. So I wonder what testimony that is, I. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, I mean, could it could it very well be the testimony of Yahweh Shai? Mm -hmm. Because we we are a representation of that testimony, right? Come on, see, yeah. see, see, by us being mm -hmm. out there on the highways and byways, by us manifesting this word of Yahweh by Shimei Yahweh Shai, we are a testimony of Yahweh Shai. We are a testimony of the spirit of prophecy because Yahweh Shai and Yahweh said that these things were going to happen. So us being in that fold and, and the spirit and these secrets and these dark sayings evolving from us testifies that Yahweh Shah and Yahweh were true and that these words are true because it's only for this small sanctuary. It's not for everybody. That's right. You got it, bro. Yeah, brother. Um, man, I thought I had a precept, but I may have to come back to it. I don't see it just yet. So anyway, again, Psalm 78 and 5, for he established a testimony in Jacob and appointed a law in Israel, which he commanded our fathers that they should make them known to their children. Mm. Yeah. That the generation to come might know them, even the children which were which should be born, who should arise and declare them to their children. And verse 7 said that they might set their hope in Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, and not forget the works of the Most High, but keep his commandments. Yeah. You want to keep, keep uh, down? Uh, did, did you read uh, verse 4? Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it says, uh, I go back up, Psalm 78, verse 4. We will not hide them from their children. Showing to the generation to come the praises of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and his strength and his wonder wonderful works that he had done. Yeah, yeah, Khan. Oh, um, is that it? Yeah, uh, hold on, Salak, Salak, brother. It, it was a point 
okay. that I wanted to read about the Dark Sands. I, I don't know if you had read that. Yeah, yeah. Um, Was that verse in, two? That's up in three. Okay. Uh, two, two. Psalm 78, verse two. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter dark sayings of old, mm -hmm. which we yeah. have heard and known and our fathers have told us. Wow. <laughs> hey, everything that's in these scriptures, like we always reference in Romans, the uh, the 15th chapter, I believe, the things that were written aforetime were written for our learning. You know? Yep. So, so our forefathers did the same things because through the spirit, we are renditions of our forefathers or children of our forefathers. You know? That's why the, the uh, what does scripture say? The secrets or uh, yeah, the secrets of the prophets are subject unto the prophets. Yeah, the you spirit. Know? The secret, the spirit of so like it. The spirit of the prophets. Yeah. The spirit of the prophets are subject unto the prophets. Mm -hmm. That wh what spirit are we talking about? We're talking about the spirit of Yahweh Shai. That that's that's a, a mystery. The name Yahweh Shai, the spirit in which we're walking in right now. All of those are secrets. Those are dark sins. When we out there screaming, uh, or uh, uh, or speaking in our native tongue, people just walk by as if they don't because it's a it's a dark sin. It's a it's a it's a parable. This story in itself was hidden, hidden from a, hidden in ages, you know, and and through the uh, the evolution of time. It's all been culminating up into Yahushua's return and the elect both being sealed, you know, to that holy matrimony, you know. But but that can only be taught by those mysteries being revealed, you know, of where we are, what America really is, uh, the name America meaning bitter, right? How America is a corporation, okay? It's not a country. Okay, that was stolen. Okay, through a uh, lies robbery, right? That that this whole system is a, is a sham and a con. Okay, and really, it's a con to to have you go against Yahweh by Shimei Shai. So these are the things the prophets of the Lord are revealing, and it's only in those men that you're going to hear the clarity or the light of these dark sands and parables. Um. Was was there more on that art? Oh, that was the point. Okay, con. Um, I got I got a quick one. Um, I got two. Unless you want to grab that uh that Psalms twenty five and fourteen. I know we were supposed to bring that one up. Yeah, but... got that one <laughs> hey hey hey! The spirit took off, man. Um, uh, this uh, wisdom of Solomon, the eighth chapter. It says, um. I'm going to start at verse, uh, start at verse five. It says, if riches be a possession to be desired in this life, what is richer than wisdom that worketh all things? And if prudence work, who of all that are is more cunning, is a more cunning workman than she? Talking about wisdom, man. And if a man love righteousness, her labors are virtues, for she teacheth temperance and prudence. See, these are all of the uh, the pillars that Esau, the so-called white man, does not want our people, specifically the elect, um, to walk in temperance, prudence, wisdom, understanding, um, wise counsel. Okay, because all of those are forms of order and forms of righteousness. Whereas here in Babylon, it's nothing but uh, uh, chaos, anarchy, and confusion. Okay, whereas wisdom, wisdom in itself is going to give you temperance. Okay, because you're not going to be out there like a heathen. Okay, you know, I, I remember growing up, um, you know, your uh, uh, my mom's and you know, other. Some mothers used to say, you know, y'all out there acting like heathens, you know, like like as a little kid. I, I remember hearing it clearly, you know, you know, we would be outside all musty and dusty and all the rest of that stuff as a, as a child. 
But I remember it being said. Why? Because heathens are lawless. Okay? They don't have temperance. They don't have judgment. You look at Moab. Moab eats cats and dogs, man. Okay? Man. You look at Esau, bro. I saw a man. I don't know if you saw it. I... <laughs> they had Esau, man. Oh, man. They had Esau eating a blood uh, blood boudin. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've seen that. I don't know what kind of blood it was, if it was from goat or from a cow, but they took the blood, uh, put it in a, a casing, boiled it till, till it became firm. I want to say that then they grilled it, cut it up, and then ate it like with, with some cheese and crackers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. I'm just saying, brother, that's a heathen. Okay, Man. that's a heathen all the way. Okay, we know the Lord prescribed for us not to to eat a uh, 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 blood, okay, or to drink it. But these heathens, man, they're lawless. So I just wanted to make that quick point about how wisdom gives us that order to where we are those people that 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 uh that city that's set upon a hill because we we are applying this infinite knowledge and wisdom. Okay. That's right. Oh, did you want to add real quick, bro? No, no. I'm okay. good. Uh, this is Wisdom of Solomon uh, 8 and 7. And if a man love righteousness, her labors, key word there is labors, her labors are virtues. For she teacheth temperance and prudence, justice and fortitude, which are such things as men can have nothing more profitable in their life. If a man desire much experience, she knoweth things of old. I think that that's what we read in Psalms D78 chapter. You know, those parables, those dark sins of old, which are these scriptures. Um, if a man desire much experience, she knoweth things of old and conjureth and conjureth aright what is to come. Woo! <laughs> man, you know. Prophecy. Prophecy. You got it, bro. Go ahead. Speak yeah, no, that was it. That was it. Yeah. Prophecy, hey, I mean, prophecy you, means to say before. Right. You know, so the thing that is to come is the things that have been prophesied. Yeah. Yep. You know, you read in uh, Ecclesia, Ecclesiastes 1 and 9, it says the things which have been. Am I saying that right? Yeah. Is that which have already been. Is that which have already been. You know, so we're, we're reading prophecy because it was already written. It was already prescribed that the elect were going to rise in the last days, that they were going to uh, hearken unto this word, that um, the kingdom was going to be translated from one people to another. You know, it was prophesied that Jacob was going to hold the heel of Esau. OK, and, right. and pull him down, that the elder was going to serve the younger. All of that is prophesied. Mm -hmm. But it was a secret. It was a mystery. It was uh, uh, until Yahweh shot loosened those seals. Hey, we were just regular dumb niggas. Okay? Mm -hmm. But it was the, the, the revealing of these dark sayings, okay, which gave us light, which gave us order, which gave us a, um, we always talk about a standard, a guideline, a uh, 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 rules and regulations, you know, principles yep. that we could live by collectively, okay, that we're not, what's the word, um, like you didn't have a, someone like standing over your shoulder, you know, uh, making sure you did it because your conduct was going to show that you were doing it based upon how well you were drawn from that breast, you know, and started to go precept upon precept and how, how well you were able to learn from your teachers. Okay. Um, I got a precept for you, brother. Come Isaiah. Put, oh, go ahead, brother. No, I said, come on with it. Okay, it's Isaiah 45 and 3. And I will give thee the treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places, that thou mayest know that I, the Lord, which called thee by name, am the power of Israel. So yeah, them treasures of darkness 
is that the treasures of those, those riches of the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that's been hidden from the world. The uh, he, he said uh, the riches, the treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places. And the Psalm 91 tell you that we dwell in the secret place of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. So we we have access to all of the secrets, all of the mysteries, you know, all of the, the uh, ancient knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that's been taken away from this world. See, we have access to that through the Holy Spirit of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, um, thanks to the blood of Yahweh Shah Masiah that this world had, they have not access to. So this is a real, you know, you have to, you, you, you really have to value this thing, man, because the Most High didn't have to give us this. He didn't have to, he didn't have to show mercy. But this is, we got this by the mercy, strictly by the mercy of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. It's just a gift, you know, that we can't say we earned or deserve or none of that, you know. So um, you got it, Doc. Yeah, man. Hey, that's <laughs> that's heavy, man. You know, hey. Hey, huh. just hey, just like what the elder was saying, man. It it should it should motivate you to uh, strive for the truth and to seek Yahweh by Shemiah ten times more. You know, because we're not just doing it for ourselves, man. You know, we're doing it for other men that, that we never known. You know, uh, but through the Spirit. But you know what I mean? Like we, me and Tyler Paul, we didn't know each other prior to coming into the truth. But it was through that Spirit. It was through those mysteries that we knew that previously in times past we were doing the same thing, you know, that that these mysteries that that those old sins were only given to us through that blood of Yahweh Shah, and that and yeah. that's the reason why it, it it doesn't even appear as work, you know. So like even though it's yeah. it's referenced as a labor of love, the reason why it doesn't appear as work is because this is what we were called to do. You know, Lord, really, we are chosen, you know? That's um, right, brother. That's right. Last verse. This is Wisdom of Solomon 8 and 8. If a man desire much experience, she knoweth the, she knoweth things of old, and conjecture aright what is to come. Man, that's hard. She knoweth the subtilities of speech and can expound dark sentences. Mm -hmm. She foreseeth signs and wonders and the events of seasons and times, you know? So it, it's only through the wisdom, Sophia, you know, that gift uh, of mercy that uh, Yahweh by Shemi Shai gave us through Yahweh Shai, because all of these things come, as the elder had mentioned, through Yahweh Shai's blood only, okay? It had to be a perfect sacrifice in order for the Lord to even, uh, for Yahweh by Shemi Shai to even, uh, um, Deal with this again, you know, because we had read in Ezekiel, he scattered us. He casted us out. Right. Okay. Right. You know, as, as a way, as a means of us having to understand like, oh, shit, we, we, hold on. We, we are not in Jerusalem. Whoa, whoa. They talk about Jesus. Whoa, Jesus Christ, Christianity. Oh, Baptist. Oh, shit. What, what's going on? Yeah, African American. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. African American, right? You see our women are out of order. You seeing these crackers ruling, you know? I'm telling you, man, hey, you know, I have referenced this on the highways and byways before, but um I remember it vividly, you know, sitting there in either fourth grade or fifth grade and just looking around and being like, I looked outside and I was just like where the hell am I at? <laughs> you know, <laughs> because, because you really start to just kind of, you, you, you understood the intrinsic value of the spirit that the Lord had given us those talents, you know, that, that's referenced in the scriptures. Right. Uh -huh. And then you start to see these other people and you were like, man, these niggas ain't got it though. You know, these other heathen nations, Esau, he was like, man, these are some lame ass people, you know, what happened? And, um, it was only through the spirit that those things were revealed. You know, that secret that, that the Lord was going to reveal was through wisdom, you know, and that wisdom was only through the Holy Scriptures, you know, because we went to church just like everybody else grew up in that wicked ass church. But it wasn't enough. Like the elder had talked about in a previous sit down, 
you know, it didn't add up. It did. It didn't amount to anything. It was like, okay, well, you know, what about the condition of our people? Like, why, why are we just so downtrodden? Like, why is it that we just sing every Sunday, but there's no action? Mm-hmm. You know. So, so those were one of the things in which I knew that through the spirit, man. Like, you know, I, I, I had to find more. You know, and it was through the spirit that the Lord uh, provided that. You know, that mercy. To, to where we can at least, you know, be called, you know, and, and mm-hmm. hoping and praying uh, for that mercy to, to, to be chosen. Man. Yeah, I, I never felt, I never felt the spirit, man. I was like, man, where is this, you know, in the churches, where you see people claiming to have the Holy, the Holy Ghost jumping around acting the fool. And, and, you know, I would be sitting there like, what's wrong with this person? I, I, didn't, I didn't feel no spirituality whatsoever in the churches, man. You know, and the only time I did, you know, kind of feel something is when the word was read. But yeah, they don't they don't focus or hone in on the word. It's it's, it's just all about a, a show, a song and dance. Gone. Yeah, yeah, and that's that's true, man. This. <laughs> Yeah, this, this this place just ain't right, you know. So yeah. Anyway, that that's 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 a, a whole different topic, brother. But yeah, you got it. Okay. Did did you have something else? No, I ain't got nothing. Right okay. Now. Okay. Um. Um. You can break this down uh, if if you care to. Uh, this is Psalms twenty five and uh, man. That that whole chapter is is, is tough. Um, I'm gonna start at verse nine. This Psalms 25 and nine. It says, "The meek will he guide in judgment, and the meek will he teach his way. All the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth, unto such as keep his covenant and his testimonies." Mm. <laughs> Which are only Israelites, you know? No, that's right. Verse uh, 11. For thy name's sake, O Lord, pardon mine iniquity, for it is great. What man is he that feareth the Lord? Him shall he teach in the way that he shall choose. His soul shall dwell at ease, and his seed shall inherit the earth. Hmm. Verse 14, the secret of the Lord is with them that fear him, and he will show them his covenant. And that, that says a mouthful right there, you know. The secret of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is with them that fear him, and he will show them his covenant. Now, when you look at Christianity, this Renaissance Christianity, stemming from the Catholic Church in this modern day uh, or secular uh, Catholicism. These people have no fear of the Lord. How, you know, how you going to tell me they fear the Lord and they running around telling you that the law is done away with? What what, what type of fear is that? You know, and I'm, I'm just bringing all that out to dispel the myth and cut through all the bullshit when you say everybody can be saved. Where here is saying the secret of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah is with them that fear him. And my question is, where is the fear in this secular Christianity? Because I don't see it. I see people leave the church, go to their local Golden Corral. <laughs> uh, what, what's that other one? Uh, Challenge. Right. They're they going to get the rib tips or their pot roast. Mm-hmm. You know, they're going to have some shrimp. Because they believe the the law is done away with. So what, I mean, what do you have to fear? Right. What do you have to fear if the law is done away with? Why are y'all not robbing banks? Mm. Oh, that's right. But Esau told you not to. He gonna have the feds come get you and lock your ass up. Y'all fear Esau. Y'all don't fear you. How about show me how it's shot? You know, this place is running rapid with homosexuality with pedophilia is running rampant with all manner of wickedness and, and abominations. 
but yet um, we're supposed to believe that Christianity is it. Now, in contrast, when you look at the brethren out on the highways and byways, it's the reason why we, we wear these garments, right? With the blue, blue, uh, blue border and the fringes. It's the reason why the brothers had them beards, man. And we don't, we don't get them edge ups. Why? Because we fear you how will buy Shimmy how shot. And then that goes back to that covenant, which the brother read, you know, that, that covenant that was established with us, the law was the center, was the essence, was the end all be all of that covenant or that contract that was made with us, the Hebrew Israelites and the heavenly father. He said, if you keep my law, read Deuteronomy 28 chapter with the brother. He may go into that or, or just speak on it. You know, Deuteronomy 28 chapter say, if you keep my covenant and do all this law, you're going to be blessed above all nations. You're going to have this. You're going to have that. You're going to be the head and not the tail. You say, but if you break my, my covenant, which is to transgress the law, statutes, and commandments, then all of these curses should fall upon you now they don't they don't teach that in these churches why because they don't want you fearing your how about shimmy how shot they'll bring out romans the 13th chapter in a minute hmm. to put that fear of esau in your heart but they're not putting the fear of your how about shimmy how shot in your heart you know which that's what the men of the lord are supposed to be doing leading israel back to the most high's uh, well, the brother had read it earlier, but, uh, oh, verse 12, Psalm 25 and 12. What man is he that feareth the Lord? Him shall he teach in the way that he shall choose. And that way is uh, like, I believe that's Isaiah, or maybe Jeremiah speaks about the old past, seek, seek ye the old past, you know, the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bosh, Yahweh Shah. So, so. When you talk about any and everybody can be saved, the scriptures don't say that. You know, because you need to understand the secrets in order for, to receive that salvation. You know, that's a major part of uh, the, the name. Yahweh, why Yahweh shot? That's the secret. One in which you're going to need to be saved. You don't want to be calling on Jesus, man, when he saw come in as a flood. Because Jesus is going to leave you high and dry. But anyway, brother, you got it. Yeah, man. <clears throat> that was heavy. I, I had looked up the word uh, secret there in uh, Psalms uh, 25 and was it 14? I think that's um, it. Yep. Yep, yep. 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 Yeah. I, I had looked it up and it had went, it had went into uh I'm going a, I'm to a read this real quick. I think one of the brothers about to call in, too. Um, play this. 75 sold. Sold. Yep. It says, um, council, council, assembly, council of a familiar conversation, um, council in itself, secret council. It says, familiar converse, intimacy, uh, with you, Howard, you can break down. I, I got to answer this phone. Okay. Hey, I'm going to jump down. Hey, so I'm going to jump down, man, to the end of that, the end of that song. Psalm 25 and 22, which says, redeem Israel, O Yahweh, by Shemi Howard shot out of all his troubles. It didn't mention nobody else. It said, redeem Israel. Israel, Yasha Allah in the Hebrew. He's Prince of Power. Oh. You see? So, uh, yeah, because we're the ones in trouble. We're the ones catching hell. We're the ones under the fire, man, of these Edomites. They persecute us from every angle. Pressure from above, pressure from beneath. And, and, and they, they don't let up. They don't ease up. They don't lighten up. You know? So this is why I say redeem Israel. They say redeem everybody. The Lord ain't worried about everybody. You know? Yeah, brother, you got it. Yeah, Con. Hey, I got the uh Zaquan out there from uh Hawaii, GMS of Hawaii on the line. Uh uh. Hey, Zaquan. 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 Hey,
also shows that um you know we had talked about how the lord has scattered us right you know hey this brother is in hawaii you know but originally from like philadelphia or something like that but it goes to show you how yahweh by shimmy outside is going to have his word go out and it's not going to return void you know it's going to accomplish that in which he intends for it to accomplish meaning that those who are going to hearken unto this word they're going to hear it you know wherever you are you know, and that's the, the secret. The secret is the spirit. You know, that spirit was only ingrained in a, a small sanctuary. And that small sanctuary, Lord willing, is going to be that kingdom, the, the reset or the restart of that kingdom, man. Yeah, that's beautiful. And the women today, the mortars on the pillow with a small sanctuary. You know, they don't have a small sanctuary. They don't have a small sanctuary. 
You know, it, it ain't a lot of people, man. He did it the first half. He did it with eight, eight goals. Yep. He out of three men. And then now, he's so amazing. He's going to do it out of 144,000 slots. He's going to set up a government. And then from a mixed multitude of men, women, and children. Okay, we're going to bring that back to you, man. We're going to bring that back to you, man. Because it's not the same five, three billion people on the earth. The majority of people are Israelites, man. Okay? That's right. They're enemies or listen, okay? And they're going to die, but they're going to be reborn back in the kingdom. And they're going to be in a righteous spirit, and they're going to be ready, man. They're going to be ready to get to be, man, and righteousness, man. To live in righteousness, man. You got to help Hey, I ask him real quick. Give us a brief, a uh, brief rundown how the mystery, uh, how basically how he came into the truth. Okay, Con, uh, did did you hear that? Uh, uh, the elder wanted to know uh, basically a quick rundown of how you uh, came into the truth, like how how either you heard a video or or whatever that experience was, real quick. I was, uh, I was out here in Hawaii. I just got the army around 2013, January 2013. And so I was uh, sitting on my computer. I didn't have a computer at that point. I was about to buy it. But I feel, for some reason in my spirit, I was like, I'm going to get a computer. I'm going to make videos so I can get in time to that. Like in my mind, I had such a feeling in time to that that I didn't understand. And so um, I was with my, I was married to a demon in the world, and uh, he was a big Christian. He was a Christian kid. And so he was going to do different churches and shit, trying to shop. And I just felt like something was off. But through the spirit, um, you know, I was sitting up at night on the computer, and I was just trying to find out who I was. I always wanted to know who I was. I thought I was an Africa. You know, I didn't know what I was. So mm -hmm. I, I used to watch this video of John Heinrich Clark, John Henry Clark, or Heinrich Clark. And uh, he would talk about Africa and all this other shit. But then he yeah. the Israelites. And then he mentioned the Israelites. He had said it in a tone where he didn't believe that you know, we can go into a place 70 feet and then come out in a million. You know, he didn't believe that. So, you know, he basically tried to say that he said, if he died and go to heaven and died as a woman, he's going to say that, oh, yeah, I always knew that you were, you were a woman died because you were my cousin's grandmother or whatever. So, long story short, I was trying to find out who I was. And then, when he was in the Israelites, a spark just went off. I, I had got that book, uh, it was a Babylon Assembly 2. And I ran through it like a no time. And I just kept we looking at the Israelites. But the next thing I know, I ran across these two brothers. They used to be affiliated with our great ministry, but uh, no longer are they with us. But at the time, these dudes were in the house in the highways and headed in the snow. The Mazi was like March, March, like March of 2013 to me. So, uh, but I didn't put my hand to the cloud until March the following year. And I was like, just learning. It all up, but long story short, I saw these videos and they were passing it, and I just kept looking, and I just kept looking, and I just kept looking and, kept looking, and, kept looking, and looking, and I got a hammer by it. So once, so that my demon at the time, she was like, uh, she, she was like, who are those guys who are looking at on the internet? And I want to know who they are. I'm like, no, I don't know. I don't know their names. I'm not just looking, you know, and I was just seeing, seeing the demon, and then eventually I got in contact with those brothers, man, yeah? and then, uh, the brother at the wild, the brother was like, Look, man, you know the truth now. I got a man. You gotta go out there and do this. You gotta go out there and do the work. So I just took that out like, I need to go out and preach the work. So then I was by myself. You know what I'm saying? And I was there. Like, and how do you? You know, I started off like I was going to college and I stopped going to school and I was just stand on the corner to practice and practice that, man. And I had my little computer. So one time I used my MacBook computer as my camera. So I was like, that's why I came to the Jesus and to the Spirit. Ultimately, to the Spirit, probably how I was watching that shot. You know, I looked up and then I just kept pushing. And then I got a brother, and we out there pushing together. And we out here continuing to the truth. Yeah. Come on, brother. Your power. Your power, man. It's the water for that testimony, brother. Nah, brother. Hey, the water for having me, man. Right. How about you try to do the uh, happy brother's brother in the peace and be strong? I'm going to put him to the rest of the show. All right, brother. All right, Khan. Khan, I hey the water, the water, brother. Yeah, I'm Mm-hmm. So the most I gave him the mysteries. What the scriptures say, seek and you shall find. Right. You know, but this world ain't seeking. They they they're seeking for a way to uh uh um avoid. Well, avoid it, yeah, but uh 
to, to justify themselves and, and what they got going on in their life. That's what they're so if Buddha will allow them to be a homosexual, if they're homosexual and, and Buddha will allow that, they'll go with Buddhism. Right. If, <laughs> yep. If yep. Will allow them to be a pedophile and they're a pedophile, they'll go with Krishna. Yep. You know? Yep. And it's, it's, it has nothing to do with them, um, you know, basically elevating themselves in the spirit, conforming to this word, as, as I, I like to bring out, you know? And that's what religion does, man. It, it binds you because just like they say in the church, you can you can come as you are, you know? So you come as you are and you stay as you are. And that's not how this truth works. This truth is supposed to build you up. It's supposed to edify you. That's why we do these lessons in hope, in the hopes that it's edifying to the elect, to build them up in the spirit and faith of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Christianity does not do that. There's no religion on this earth that can do that. You see? But but yeah, that, that brother gave his testimony and it's similar to most Akion, man, that are in this truth, man. We had questions. And, and this world couldn't couldn't give us the answer. And we 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 found it, man. It, it was right here in this word. But I mean, the Lord had to bring this word. They they had to make it make sense, along with the spirit. The most I um giving us his secret. You got it out. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yep. Um, yep, because, um, I just want to add a quick point on how, um, you know, the elder had just mentioned, you know, we all came in this truth, you know, by that, the spirit, you know, um, uh, that right. secret, you know, like none of the ways in which we came in, um, uh, were uniquely alike, but it was from the sense of there was a void, there was a void in our yep. spirit. And that Period. void continued to linger regardless of women, uh, uh, jobs, you know, money, cars. We were like, yeah, whatever. But there's still a, a, a void within me. And that void was not having the truth. So we talked about going to church. You know, uh, the, uh, the brother uh, talked about how um, he wasn't necessarily, you know, uh, in, in church. You know, but at the same time, too, he was around other people. He was like, man, this ain't it either. You know, yeah. so so I'm going to read this, you know, just to kind of add to that point. This is Jeremiah. Um, chapter 20. I think this is the one I'm looking for. And verse. Verse nine. Yeah, it says, then then I said, I will not make mention of him nor speak any more in his name, but his word was in my heart as a burning fire shut up in my bones. And, and that was one of the things in which I know I can attest to, um, you know, seeing uh, the brothers in Dallas, you know, that was the first, you know, man in, uh, in which I saw as far as preaching the word. And I was like, wow, like it was, it was that zeal. It was it, it was lively stones. It was it was order. It was everything we read in uh, uh, Wisdom of Solomon, the eighth chapter. You know that temperance. You know that fortitude, that passion. You know that that wisdom. You know the understanding, the dark sins and parables. They were breaking down precept by precept, line by line. So so that was that fire. You know, it wasn't like it was in the church. Like, okay, and today we're gonna read the Bible. It was, it was a, a source of power. It was right. a source. It was a source of um, the spirit. It was the spirit, just like the elder Taz Paul was talking about. The only time he really felt the spirit is when they were reading the words. So, likewise, Jeremiah here it says, it says, but his word. <clears throat> his word was in my heart, my mind, lob, as a burning fire shut up in my bones. You know, it says, and I was weary with forbearing and I could not stay. So the reason why I'm bringing that out is because once that word, and I got one real quick. This is Jeremiah 1 and 
I'm going to start at four. It says, then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. So once again, if we were those, Lord willing, we are those predestined men, but the Lord knew us from before the womb. So that fire was already a catalyst that just needed that spark. And for uh, the brother uh, uh, Gabar Yahawada, that spark was just hearing the word Israelite. And from there, he was like, oh, yeah, I remember that. You know, what does the scripture say? Uh, 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 oh, man, I, I'm trying to phrase it correctly. But basically, it says, I will put you in remembrance, though you always. Yeah, yeah, I thought that's the one. Yeah, stir, stir up your pure mind by way of remembrance. Yep, though, though you already knew it. Well, where did you know it? You knew it in the right. room. It was already part of your spirit, okay? Which is the reason why it was so easy to gravitate to it, you know? And for me, in, in the same example as Gabar, you know, I would was talking about, you know, his woman was, you know, all questioning him and all the rest of that. It's because she started to see that light growing. And even when I was leave, living with my demon, you know, like, I started to realize everything I was doing up until that point, you know, it was cool. But when I started watching videos, she started scoffing and all type of feedback. And I was like, okay, yeah, this is this is something more than just, you know, the just being able to, to read the Bible. There's a power here. There's a source. And that's the same thing in which Jeremiah was experiencing. I'm going to read on. Did you want to make? Oh, I'm going to read on. It says, verse 6, then said I, Ah, Lord, Yahweh, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child. And that's us going through this uh, purification process of learning the truth. You know, we both had to go out on the highways and byways, you know, uh, by ourselves. And, you know, really just it was all passion, but it was already within us, you know. So so the Lord made uh, what's the word? Um, he made a count of our labors, you know. As we were growing in this ministry. Verse 7 it says. But the Lord said unto me. Say not I am a child. For thou shalt go. To all that I shall send thee. And whatsoever I command thee. Thou shalt speak. So we knew. That it wasn't the words in which we were speaking. Just like right now. We're not speaking our words. We're speaking the words of Yahweh by Shemir That's right. He said, he said he was going to put the words in our heart and, 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 and give us a mouth in which uh, uh, no one can gain, say, nor resist. So so it, I just wanted to bring out that example because as that brother was telling, you know, about his testimony, immediately I thought about Jeremiah, you know, and how, yeah. you know, he, he didn't, he was like, man, I'm a child. I can't go out there and prophesy to these people, man. They, you know, I get shot or whatever, da, 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 da. But the Lord said, man, look, don't worry about being a child, man. I knew you from the womb. You know, the Lord was able to unlock or uh, activate, you know, um, our remembrance. And now it was just like, oh, that's right. We are Israelites. We ain't no damn Africans. You know, and, and we started right. to spread off, you know, all of that, that old feel, all of that, you know, um, tarnish. And we started to prophesy. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, actually, I got I got to read one more. I'm gonna jump down to verse nine, uh, Jeremiah one and nine. It says, uh, "Then the Lord put forth His hand and touched my mouth, and the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. See, I have this day set thee over the nation. This this goes back to the precept in, in Deuteronomy, okay." See, I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw down and to build and to plant. See, that, that's a husbandry, a uh, husbandry, you know, the same thing you're doing in your garden. You're taking out weeds, you know what I'm saying? You're making sure ain't no rodents and pests, you know, coming in your garden. 
So you planting, you building, you harvesting, you know, you destroying all types of ticks and, you know, things of that nature. So I just wanted to add that real quick, brother. Beautiful. Fun. All right. Which one you want? You want to get that? Uh, what, well, Colossians? well I, I was going to jump to real quick um, because you had made a comment about that Deuteronomy 28. So I wanted to make two quick comments because when you read in, in Deuteronomy 28 and 1, it says, and, and, and you can break it down because you have made the point. It says, and it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy power to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy power will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. And, the, and all these blessings shall come unto thee and overtake thee if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy power. Yeah, that's, and that's going into the covenant. As I, I was stating earlier, that was made between the Heavenly Father, the Most High, the highest power, and us, the children of Israel, Yahshua Allah. You, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and wherever else the Most High may have scattered you. We've been talking about the diaspora. You know, if you got the ears to hear this truth, you're Israelite. You know, that... That's a part of the mystery. That's a part of that secret, man. Everyone wasn't given the ears to hear, all the eyes to see. You know, not even all of Israel. So if you if you can understand, you know, the apostles or any of the Akiyam, the elders, the brethren, the priests are out there. They 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 set up these altars, you know, the camps to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and you you agree, your spirit resonates. With that vibration, it don't matter what you look like, because the scriptures speak on the uh, a confusion of face. So, you know, if you can hear and you believe, that's an Israelite, you know, but predominantly it's the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And, and, and uh, yeah, we have that covenant that we broke, which we disannulled that covenant. So the Heavenly Father had to set up a new covenant, a new testament, which went through or, or basically goes through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. And, and it, it ain't dealing with everybody. You understand? It's not dealing with everybody. You got to done, done. Beautiful, beautiful. I got one more and then uh, we can get that Colossians or whatever you have. Um, this is Deuteronomy uh, 29 and. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God. I'm gonna start at verse. Uh, I'm gonna start at verse 24. It says, "Even all nations shall say, Wherefore hath the Lord done thus unto this land? What meaneth the heat of this great anger? Then men shall say, Because they have forsaken the covenant of the Lord thy power of their fathers, which He had made with them." When he had brought them out of the land of Egypt, or so like it brought them forth out of the land of Egypt. For they went and served other gods and worshiped them, gods whom they knew not and whom he had not given unto them. Okay, Caesar Borgia, talking about Christianity, Muslim, uh, uh, all of these yeah. wayward philosophies and doctrines. The Lord's like, bro, I didn't give any of these to you. I gave you my son, Yahweh Shai. It, it, look, listen to him. Okay? Mm. Verse 27. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against this land to bring upon it all the curses that are written in this book. <laughs> Pursuant to Deuteronomy the 28th chapter. Okay? If thou didn't hearken unto the Lord to follow the law, statutes, and commandments. Okay? Mm -hmm. Verse 28, it says, and the Lord rooted them out of their land in anger. Once again, rooted them out of their land. The elder had just talked about the diaspora, the scattering, okay? And how we were no longer in our land, all right? That's right. Um, in anger and in wrath and in great indignation and cast them into another land as it is this day. This is prophecy. That means that Israelites 
should not be in the land of Israel. Okay, so those gutter rats, well, I mean, there could be, let me let me clarify that. There could be Israelites in the land of Israel, but predominantly, according to prophecy, we were going to be scattered out of that land. We were going to be taken out of that land and pushed into the four corners of the globe. That's right. Okay, so those that are there now very well cannot fit this prophecy or any of them. Okay, it says, and cast them into another land as it is this day. And the land in which we've been cast into, majority of us, is here in America. Okay? Babylon, mm -hmm. the land of confusion. All right? And this yeah, is that's right, brother. That's right. No, you yeah. got it. Okay, cut, cut. Um, and this is the point in verse 29. It says, the secret things, which is everything we just, we've been talking about throughout this whole lesson and more, the secret things belong unto the Lord our power. But those things which are revealed belong unto us. Going back to what the elder had talked about as far as that access of being in your Shai. You know, we, we had uh, did a lesson talking about how your um, uh goes through uh, goes through the porter, you know, and, and, and that porter is basically another access of, of uh, your Hawashai, Shimei Hawashai. But we have to be within your Hawashai in order to receive that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding in which we, we are uh, telling our people now. You know, the same way in which uh, Gabar, uh, Gabar Yahawada was uh, brought into the truth, it was by other men, likewise with the elder Tazapai, likewise for myself. So the Lord had to give access to these, uh, to the, to these secrets that were being revealed, okay? It says the secret things belong unto the Lord. So like it, the secret things belong unto the Lord, our power. But those things which are revealed belong unto us and to our children forever, that we may do all the works of this law. And that we is talking about Israelites. Uh, the, the first five books uh, were written by Moses. Okay? Israel, an Israelite. So these were written by is by look by Israelites for Israelites. Exactly. That's you right. That's right, brother. Yeah, hey, you want to go into that Colossians? Yeah, Con. Where do you want to start at? Uh we'll start at uh what is it? One and let me see here. Uh, or is it or is it chapter three? Hold on, it's a lot, bro. Yeah, chapter one. Oh, it is? Yep. Okay. I was about to say then you can uh you can start wherever you want, brother. I think. Uh oh, yeah. Oh, we were gonna start at uh woo. We can jump around. We can start at verse verse nine and then jump around a little bit. Yeah, okay, so all right, Colossians chapter one, verse nine. It says, For this cause, we also, since the day we heard it, Woo! do not cease to pray for you. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I did it say since the day we heard it. <laughs> yeah. You got Con it. It's a lot, Con bro. Okay. Yeah, for this cause, again, Colossians one and nine. For this cause, we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you and to desire that ye might be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. It didn't it didn't just say understanding, right? We had read in Proverbs how, you know, to get understanding. Now it says spiritual right. understanding. Why? Right. Because because we talked about the testimony of Yahweh Shah being the spirit of prophecy. That's that's an understanding spiritually, not just an understanding, not just wisdom. But now spiritually understanding that these are mysteries, they're they're secrets. Okay, it's it's like it it has to be decoded, spiritually decoded. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I just wanted to add that you got it out. Yeah, that's right. I, that's right. Verse ten that ye might walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing, being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. <laughs> yes, we just spoke on that. You only in Christianity, you only in going increase in wickedness, man. You know, 
They tell you, come as you are, and then that's it. You know, you don't see no transformation of, of the, the, the members, you know. And, and if you do, it's an act. They put on acts and fronts, you know. But with the Akiyama, man, you see a transformation. You know, and you even hear from your family. They say, oh, he ain't the same since he got with that coat, you right. know. <laughs> that coat. <laughs> yeah, that boy then went up there and then got in the law with that coat. And he ain't been the same since, you know. Oh man, yeah, but that's what the spirit does, man. It says, it says that ye might walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing, being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And the scripture also speaks on going from glory to glory, you know, because we increase in stages, and it's the most high as. Uh, First Corinthians, the third chapter states that gives the increase. But yeah, you 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 move up le up up levels. You see, verse eleven says, "Strengthen with all might, according to His glorious power, unto all patience and long suffering, with joyfulness." Yeah. Well, no, no. You you can read down. All right. Yeah, I, I didn't know if you wanted to speak on well, that. Well, right. well, I mean, so um. That strength is us realizing that we're Israelites, that we're God's chosen people. Like it's, I mean, you know, uh, I was gonna say like self-esteem, but really it's, it's kind of that, right? Because being a nigga and a, and a, and a spick and a, all these other bywords and proverbs, it demoralized us as a people collectively, right? Mm -hmm. But so when it says strengthen. With all the might according to his glorious power, it, it was talking about these riches, these scriptures, that wisdom, that's that subtlety of speech. You know, now we understood. We look, we can play the game now. Before we look, we were losing because we didn't know, you know, uh Esau was playing the game against us. We just thought, oh well, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Now now we actually have weapons. Now we have spiritual understanding. Okay. Now we can use subtlety against him. You know, right. we can be wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove. You know, to where we we basically that's that's what I call it. You know what I'm saying? You're giving Esau a fake profile of who you are. And as long as he believes in that profile, it don't matter. But yeah, it says strengthen with all might according to his glorious power. Unto all patience and long suffering with joyfulness. Why? Because they only had mentioned it. The Lord could have just had us out there as a, a two third, you know? Yeah. Lord, yeah. Lord could have made, you know what I'm saying, made it to where, hey, you know, just like a, a lot of these jakes in the world, man, fell for that down low bullshit, you know? Or in prison, getting, you know, uh, or any of these other snares that Esau has. Uh, all land, uh, basically like a landmine in which we walk through and navigate through. But it's only through the spirit that that we're able to enjoy the long suffering. It says with joyfulness, okay? Because why? We know that that, that the trying of our faith is only temporary. You know, it's only but for a moment, right? But Scripture says, but it, it yielded the peaceable fruit of righteousness. Okay, and and that's what we need. Okay, we, we had talked about on the highways and byways being those in, uh, examples of believers. You know, mm -hmm. that that that's what that's what you see. You you are seeing men that wholeheartedly have invested their life towards this ministry because we have the hope for salvation under any circumstance. Okay, that that. That is those, what did they say? Those, the, the conjured words. What did it say? All right, something like that. Conjured words before. I don't know. What, okay. And, and uh, Wisdom of Solomon 8 and, and, and 8, where it talks about, uh, hold on, let me grab it real quick. Come yep. on. It says, uh, Wisdom of Solomon 8 and 8, if a man desire much experience, she knoweth things of old. And conjureth aright what is to come. Okay. Prophecy. 
You know, mm-hmm. that, that's something else that gives you stability. You know, like like Esau teaches us fear, or not us, but teaches the world fear because people don't know what's going to happen. We know what's going to happen. We right here in the scriptures. You know, we we know the end of the thing. You know. That's why the scripture says better is the end of the thing than the beginning thereof. We've been through this process of being refined and understanding these mysteries, these dark sayings, these parables, understanding we're Israelites, growing in the spirit, uh, 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 rehearsing the righteous acts to where the end of this thing, this captivity coming to a close, you know, and and salvation, all of that's going to be better. That's the joyfulness it talks about. In uh, Colossians yeah. 1 and 11, strengthened with all might according to his glorious power unto all patience and long suffering with joyfulness. Because we know what's the reward according to the covenant, right? Yeah. <laughs> the covenant says, hey, I'm going to make you the, the top dog. You're already the top dogs, but you're going to be the top, well, not dogs, but you're going to be the top people. Yeah, yeah. Uh, That's right. So, I mean, that's something to be happy about, you know, that that this isn't permanent, that this is a temporary situation and that everlasting and the everlasting situation involves rulership. It involves order. It involves purity. It involves cleanliness. Okay. It involves righteousness. It, it, it involves peace, you know, serenity, That's you right. know, paradise, you know, no worries. We you know we reference in, in, in Revelation where it talks about how the Lord's going to uh, wipe the tears from our eyes, man. You know, death, is, death isn't going to have a sting anymore. We're going to have it in, in mortal bodies, you know. We're going to have glory. It said with all his glorious power. All the things in which we've been stripped and deprived of. So yeah, we're gonna rejoice in that, man. That's that's a secret and that's a mystery that Esau cannot solve or understand when he sees men out there on the highways and byways faithfully, week in, week out, videos coming up week by week. He doesn't understand it. It's like, how is it? And I think I uh, made mention uh, uh, of that to you, uh, Taz, either last week or the week before, how I had that thought going to camp. I was like, man, Esau got to be scared of shit, bro. You mm-hmm. know? Okay. Yeah, you're right. Because we've been in slavery, castrated, quarter, buck break, uh, 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 branded, uh, eyes g- gouged out, teeth uh, all uh, 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 nailed in, whatever. We've been on uh, uh, feces-filled boats. You know, uh, the list goes on and on, man. And mm-hmm. we still glorify you. How about she may I was shy? So now what? You know, you're like, oh, well, shit, man, now what? <laughs> you got it, bro. That's right. Uh, That's if, right. You, uh, if you want to jump down to... Um, yeah, we can jump down to... Uh, oh, yep. Let's jump down to verse 18, if you don't mind. Oh, okay. Well, shit, I didn't read because it. Yeah, it, yeah. I, I was going to say it, but you know what I'm saying? I, I ain't know. They got some good points coming up. So uh, verse 12, it says, yep. giving thanks unto the Father, which had made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light. Who had delivered us from the power of darkness and had translated us into the kingdom of his uh, dear son Mm. in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins, (laughs) who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature, for by him were all things created that are in heaven, that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones, dominions, or principalities, or powers, All things were created by him and for him. (laughs) That he is before, and he is before all things, and by him all things consist. 
Wow. That's right. Wow. Yeah, you, you're not going to hear that in church. Yeah. You, you're not going to hear that anywhere else except for the prophets of the Lord because that's, that's a secret. You know, even though it's in the, the, the same book that, you know, these, these poor child pastors have, they're not going to read that. <laughs> that, that, that stands to that. All the, that we read right now, they ain't going to read that because people are going to question, like, well, hold on. All things created, visible, invisible, thrones, dominions, principal. What's that mean? They're going to have questions. Yeah, they don't have the understanding. Exactly. That's Those right. same questions that we had that we knew were not going to be provided by any of those means as far as the church or even outside of church. It had to come from a, a spiritual source, a source in which didn't there wasn't a category or a uh, 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 it wasn't already set up by man. It had to come from Yahweh by Shimei Man. You got it, bro. Yeah, that's, man, that's a mouthful right there. So it says, uh, oh, and then this, this, this backs up John the first chapter. And it said, who is the image of the invisible God? You know, and it tells you John 1 and 1, in the beginning was the word. In the Greek, the logos. And, and, and logos is where we get the term uh, logo. Uh, a logo is, you know, as they use it today, you know, you know that swish or the swoosh. That's the logo for Nikes. When you see that swoosh, you think Nike, you think shoes, you think everything that that company is about. So, you know, how shall be in that image of the invisible God, you know, and he, he comes in the volume of that book, of this book, he is the word. So when you're reading this word, right, it, it's, it's bringing you into the mindset of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, you know, and that, and that is righteousness. But the brother been speaking on which the heathens, this world, they don't have, you know, you was mentioning a while ago about the peaceable fruit of righteousness, right? Why is there so much turmoil, chaos and war in this world? Because righteousness is lacking in this world. You don't have, you don't have peace outside of righteousness. And that's what their law was set up for. The law was to bring, was to bring peace, peace with your neighbor, Peace with the other nations. That's why Yahweh Shai is known as uh, one of his titles, the uh, Prince of Peace. You know, he's that he's the image of the invisible God. You know, it says verse sixteen: "For by him were all things created." Right, the Word. Science even proved that. Me and the brother, we we went in briefly about that. You know, the more Esau tried to bring up science to dis discredit the Most High the more science proved that the most high exists. Where does science even come from? Science didn't just pop out of air. <laughs> you know, where does science come from? Think about math, you know, numbers. You know, man didn't create, well, which came first, math or man? And you, you got a conundrum. Because if you say man, <laughs> then who, who created man? And, 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 and if you say man, then that means math came from man. And if that's the case, why are they still finding, you know, new new uh, revelations in math, coming up with new theories? If, if man created math, man would be the masters of math, right? And then if you say, well, math came first, <laughs> then you have to say, well, it had to be intelligence. Math don't come from an explosion. So <laughs> that's, you know what I'm saying? So science proved that there is a most high. But, but yeah, it, all things come from the you know, in this universe, in this world, the word, you know? And so, yeah. Uh, let me see. What did I leave off? Uh, 16. Okay, okay, verse, yeah, I'll pick up that. Verse 16, for by him were all things created that are in heaven, that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominion, dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him. And he is before all things. And mm -hmm. by him, all things consist. And he is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he might have the preeminence. For it pleased the, the father 
that in him should all fullness dwell. And then it also, I think in this book, it, 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 it mentioned that in him dwelleth the fullness of the Godhead bodily, mm -hmm. you know? So that's all things <laughs> on earth and in heaven, you know? Right. It's, so in verse 20, it says, heaven and having made peace through the blood of his cross, right? Again, there is no peace outside of righteousness. So he brought righteousness through his blood, through that sacrifice that he made. And this is how brothers are able to receive these mysteries and go out and, and openly proclaim them. You know, because verse 20, and having made peace through the blood of his cross, by him to reconcile all things unto himself, by him, I say, whether they be things in earth or things in heaven. And you that were sometimes alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works, yet now had he reconciled. Right. And, and, and I'm, I'm just going to say something real quick just to kind of prelude a little bit, because I believe when you read in, is it first Corinthians, the 12th chapter? It talks about being alienated from the commonwealth. Is it is that yeah, Ephesians 2? Ephesians 2. So like yeah. Ephesians 2 and 12. 12. Yeah. Right. Ephesians 2 and 12. <clears throat> um, so so this is talking about it where it says, and you were sometimes alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works. It's talking about how we didn't know that we were uh Israelites, okay? We were keeping the customs and traditions of these other heathen nations, okay practicing Christianity, whatever all of these other wayward doctrines were and are, those were wicked works. Notice it said in your mind. Why? Because that's where uh, your heart is, your, your log. So, so the mind was uh, uh, eating, you know, strange fruit, you know, fruit that was not profitable for salvation. So I just wanted to add that in there real quick as we're reading into that point. That's right. Verse 22, in the body of his flesh through death to present you holy and unblame, un, unblameable, mm -hmm. yeah, and unreprovable in his sight. In his sight. Yeah, that, you know what I'm saying? This word bring up all kind of accusations against <laughs> us. But Yahweh right. Shah said, no, they, they good. And right, Yahweh right. Shah said, you good. Who in the hell can argue? You know? Real, real, real quick, I, yeah, this bro. Is, uh, Romans eight and uh, it's a lot. Oh, verse thirty. It says, "Moreover, whom he did predestine, predestinate, them he also called, and whom he called, them he also justified." <laughs> mm -hmm. Just I love that scripture. That's right. He's gonna justify us, you know. God, it says, and whom he justified, then he also glorified. Mm. So, Man. so, so that was it, real quick. That's beautiful, huh? Right? So, uh, yeah, verse twenty-two: in the body of his flesh, through death, to present you holy and unblameable and unreprovable in his sight. If ye continue in the faith, yeah, is, is that not what uh, Matthew 24 and 13 says? He that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And it's saying, continue in the faith, you got to endure. If ye continue in the faith, grounded and settled, and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel which ye have heard, and which was preached to every creature which is under heaven, whereof I, Paul, am made a minister. Right. Beautiful. Yeah, because the, the Lord said you ain't going to have no cloak for your sins, man. This, mm -hmm. Hey, this word is going to hit the four corners of the globe, you know, especially with the Internet. Man, please. Anyway, you got it, bro. Verse 24. Who now rejoice in my sufferings for you? Excuse me. And fill up that which is behind of the afflictions of Masiach in my flesh for his body's sake, which is the church, which mm. are the elect, whereof I am made a minister according to the dispensation of God, 
or power which is given to me for you to fulfill the word of the Most High, even the mystery which had been hid from ages and from generations, but now is made manifest to his saints. Right. So, so that mystery, um, of, uh, as as we've been talking about, in a nutshell, it's prophecy. You know, mm -hmm. in in a nutshell, it, it, hey, it's prophecy. It's it's yeah. the understanding that we're Israelites. It's how we came into this ministry. You know, it's the faith that we use to to understand these dark parables and sayings. You know, yep. it, it it was already a part of our spirit. And like I had made mention, the Lord just activated it. You know, it was it was it was a uh, it was lying dormant. You know, and 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 the Lord through His holy words, that was the only um, catalyst that would have drawn it out. You know. Yep. That's it. No other words, which is the reason why, you know, we felt like, man, like, like, what's this place all about? This, you know, so, uh, society and life and like, what is, like, what is all this about? Like, like, well, like, where's the spirit? And that's what we were searching for, you know, but it was a mystery that was hidden for ages. It says, even the mystery, which has been hid from ages and from generations, but now is made manifest to his saints only who are Israelites. Okay. And as I had alluded to earlier, the reason why we're, we're bringing this up, well, part of the reason why we're bringing this up is because it's a mystery and it's only revealed to the saints. But as we're going to read down, it's also talking about Israelite foreigners that were scattered to these other uh, uh, countries, you know, the, these other lands. And they started to embrace that culture that was there, but not realizing you're still an Israelite. You know, you got yeah, it. I got a mystery for you right here. Uh oh. And, and this is Proverbs in chapter 30, verse 4. Who had ascended up to heaven or descended? Who had gathered the wind in his fist? Who had bound the waters in a garment? Who had established all the ends of the earth? What is his name? And what is his son's name? If thou canst tell. That's a mystery. You see? One in which you must know. And oh, the brother brought, brought up, the brother Kabar Yehawada brought up um, um, uh, Acts 4 and 12. You know? Yeah, that's going to be detrimental. What is his name? And what is his son's name? And, and, and real quick, man, cause I man, I got got to get that one. God, this, this Acts chapter four, verse twelve. It says, "Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved." You know. So, so yeah, that name is going to be very detrimental, especially going into Jacob's trouble, which which is right around the corner. So, yeah, brother. Uh, you want to go back to the collection? Yep, yep kind. Might, might as well finish it on that. So verse 27, uh, Colossians 1 and 27. To whom the most high would make known what the riches of the glory of his of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Masiach in you, the hope of glory. Now, the, now those Gentiles are talking about Israelite foreigners. Because everything that we've been talking about in this whole chapter. Uh, even when you read uh, Colossians 1 and 1, it says, Paul, an apostle of Yahweh's child, Mashiach, by the will of Yahweh and Timotheus, our brother, to the saints and faith and faithful brethren in Hamashiach, which are at Colossus. Okay? <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, like, 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 who is he talking to? When it says Gentiles, it's not talking about non-Israelites. It's talking about Israelite foreigners. Okay? Um, yeah, yeah, that was the only point I wanted to make. All right, All right verse 28. Whom we preach, warning every man and teaching every man in all wisdom that we may present every man perfect in Masiach Yahweh Shai. Right. Hey, which is another reinforcement that belief in Yahweh Shai makes you an Israelite. 
Okay, because the other heathen, uh, the other heathen nations are not going to believe in your house. Okay, uh, the, the scripture says, No man calleth him Lord but by the Holy Spirit. So, you know, yeah, boom, right? And that spirit is only in Israelites. Mm -hmm. So, so just to kind of you know reinforce that thought, yeah, again, verse 28. Whom we preach, warning every man and teaching every man in all wisdom that we may present every man perfect in Masiach Yahushai, whereunto I also labor, striving according to his to his working, which worketh in me mightily. <laughs> yeah, that's, man. Hey, hey, here, hey, he had that fire in his bones, huh? <laughs> yeah, Connor, Connor, yeah. You know, hey, hey, and and you know, really, that's that's a a, a semi identifier, a semi identifier, right? Because mm -hmm. we talk about lively stones all the time. You know, you you watch any of these sports that Esau, you know, uh, glorifies or whatever, right? The first thing you notice is the that 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 spirit, that that fire that separates the common man, quote unquote from those mighty men, okay? So, you know, people talk about LeBron, Jordan, Tiger, you know, all of these quote unquote mighty men, what, what makes them mighty is they still have the spirit of being an Israelite. And that's what you see being displayed in action. But likewise, the men uh, specifically here in this chapter talking about Paul, he was like, hey man, look, I knew, I know what I was commissioned to do, okay? Look, hey, this ain't my first time going to Colossians or Greek or going to uh, uh, Thessa, Thessalonica. Uh, probably Thessalonica. Not right. Thessalonica I have you. Right. Um, or uh, Ephesus, you know? Right, right. Bro, bro, hey, I was dipping. You know what I'm saying? I was bringing this word. I was giving warning to where we can present men perfect to Yahweh Shah HaMashiach. And, and that was that zeal or that, that might that he had, that same might that you see out on the highways and byways. You know, yeah. I, I sent a message out earlier about how the scripture says, um, you know, uh, uh, how, how the righteous are bold as a lion, you know, and, and understanding what type of situation we in battling adversity. And basically, we don't have any allies except for our brethren. That might, that spirit of, of power and not the spirit of fear comes from Yahweh by Shemiah You know, it's not anything that man can instill in you. You know, it's only by you being an Israelite and by you recognizing the truth of this ministry, then all of that starts to grow within you. You know, and then the next thing you 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 know, you out there prophesying because. The truth that was uh, dormant now has erupted, you know, and, and that's what's happening all across the globe. You know, camps are popping up here, then third, you know, but because right. of this ministry. Or, organically. Organically, that's organically, right. Not like, you know, IUIC going and establishing mm -hmm. things, you know, in the, in the flesh, you know, they're popping up organically in the spirit. Yeah. Con, hey, hey, um, yeah, that that's uh, oh, I'm gonna I'm jump down if you don't mind, or you can read down, yeah, we, uh, uh, the second chapter, yeah, how far you want to go, uh, yeah. to verse four, all right, uh, Colossians chapter two, verse one, it said, For I would that you knew what great conflict I have for you. And for them at uh, Laodicea. And once again, hey, once again, Paul traveled to another city, you know. Yep. <laughs> but go ahead. Yep, at Laodicea. And for as many as have not seen my face in the flesh, that their hearts might be comforted, being knit together in love and into all riches of the full assurance of understanding to the acknowledgement of the mystery of the most high Woo! Yeah, and of the father 
Uh, oh, well, see that? Let me go back and read that. Mm -hmm. uh, right. It says, to the acknowledgement of the mystery of power and of the Father and of Masiyah, in whom are hid all treasures of wisdom and knowledge. There it is. Once again, it was hidden. You know, mm -hmm. you know, we, we didn't bring the word yeah. out. When you go into the word hid, it goes into a uh, pop, a pop crypto, a pop crypto. Okay. Right, right, right. Yeah. Which, which means it's hidden. You know, we uh, 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 um, Apostle Tahar always goes into uh, um, the apocrypha. Apocrypha means hidden. Okay. So likewise, it said that um, all the treasures of wisdom <laughs> and knowledge are hid in Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Kakodash. Mm-hmm. Man, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Uh, uh, verse three says, "In whom are hid all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge?" And this I say, lest any man should beguile you with enticing words. But though I be absent in the flesh, yeah, they, yeah, yeah that's cool. Yeah, because yeah. I, th those enticing words are um, are those other philosophies. You know, that's seductress. You know, that whore of Babylon, which entices your mind and feeds on your lust, you know, to where, as you were talking about earlier, um, Esau creates all these false idols to where you can fulfill your lust and you don't have to deny yourself, you know, whereas coming to your house, shot, hey, you got to deny your flesh. You got to deny the fact that you are somebody. Okay. And that's how you receive that wisdom. That's how you receive that knowledge. That's how the Lord um, uh, gives you the increase. Okay, you ain't gonna. I mean, you can study as much as you want, um, but the Lord has to be supping with you. You know, man. Hey, brother, hold, hold Luke seventeen twenty one. I'm, I'm gonna read verse two again. All right. And this Colossians chapter two verse two. It said that their hearts might be comforted, being knit together in love and unto all riches of the full assurance of understanding to the acknowledgement of the mystery of God. Okay, read that real quick, brother. Con, uh, Luke 17 and 21. Started at 20. Con, it says, and when he was demanded of the Pharisees, when the kingdom of Yahweh should come he right did. because that was a mystery they mm -hmm. want to know when is the kingdom gonna come right it's a mystery right go ahead con it says um he answered them and said the kingdom of yahweh cometh not with observation <laughs> no Maybe. hey hey no that's beautiful read it verbatim okay uh con it says uh, this is Luke 17 and 20. And when he was demanded of the Pharisees, when the kingdom of God should come, he answered them and said, the kingdom of God cometh not with observation. Neither shall they say, lo here or lo there, for behold, the kingdom of God is within you. And, and that's, that's a part of that mystery. People don't understand the kingdom of power. Right, as the brother said, the kingdom of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah is in us, that kingdom of power. That's the kingdom of power when you go into God. God means power, you know? And, and what did it say back in Colossians? It say to the acknowledgement of the mystery of power and of the of the Father, Yahweh, and of Masiach, his only begotten son. And, and that's part of the mystery. They don't understand. The kingdom is within us. You know, and that's why we can understand the mysteries because the kingdom of power or the kingdom of God is within us. So there's no need to say, oh, low here or low there, or it's going to come in such and such a day. You no, know, the, the kingdom came to you when you received this, this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. When, when uh, the Heavenly Father sent the Holy Spirit to work with you, you were incorporated into the body which means you was incorporated into the kingdom of, of, of God because it's going into this knowledge. So 
So you were made to understand the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding those riches of 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 Yahweh by Shemi Yahweh Shah. And then the knowledge in itself is a mystery. Um, who and where the kingdom is, or when it's coming, is a mystery. And you know, this whole thing is a mystery, except unto the elect. You got it, brother. Beautiful. I'm just gonna land back off of that point. This is a uh, Acts one and. Um, I'm just going to start at five. It says, <clears throat> it says, for John truly baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost, not many days hence. When they therefore would come together, they asked him, saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel mm -hmm. because it was a mystery. Yep. And he said unto them, it is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the father had put in his own power, but ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you and ye shall be witnesses unto me all of this is prophecy, man. Um, and ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. So, so yeah, that's talking about the power in which uh, Ak was talking about that is within us, which is spiritual. There we it have is. spiritual power. There it is. Yeah, we already got it. <laughs> right. It just yeah. it, it just hasn't manifested itself to its uh fullness, you know. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, just like for the past month and a half or so, we've been out there through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemi Shah kicking ass and taking names. Okay, but it's spiritually spiritual power. We we haven't gotten corner once. And we're not going to because the word in itself is doing all the heavy lifting, you know? So, so uh, yeah, I just wanted to read that real quick, man, because it says, but ye shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Okay. And, and that's what we're in right now. The spirit of the Holy, beautiful. the Holy Ghost, you know, beautiful. that's a mystery. You know, Esau, you know, always tries to look things together. It's like, no, nah, man. And the Lord has things set up to, to where and how it will be most effective and efficient for his ministry. That's how we all heard this word. Okay. Mm -hmm. the, the bird, look, the bird of the air came and dropped it right in. And the Lord opened up our pineal gland. And next thing you know, he's like, man, we believed. You know, because we already knew it. You know? It was a mystery, but the more and more the, the Holy Ghost started to work with us, we gained spiritual power. And see, Esau's uh, strength is carnality, you know? That's why when dealing in this wicked, stupid-ass world, it says we have to walk, um, or, or I'll just say the just shall live by faith. Because we're not, we're not viewing things from the... the the, the carnal eyes that we have, we're viewing things from that, that quote unquote third eye, that spiritual eye, that recognition, okay, that the so called white man is the devil, okay? His, his words were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart, okay? These other heathen nations, gonna, along with Esau, are gonna try to defile and taint us as much as possible. All of that is a form of uh, spiritual power, but ultimately, being being justified as we had read, we're going to be glorified. Now, being glorified is having ultimate supreme spiritual power, as Yahweh Shai has, and as Yahweh by Shimei Yahweh Shai has. Yeah, that's right, brother. That's on point. Kind of beautiful, that. Right? Yeah, that, that's that's all I had, brother. Kind. You got something else? Um. No, I mean, well, you know, we, I mean, we can hit that Psalms 82, 
you know, because it, it reinforces scripture says you are gods. Yeah, yeah, that's right. We are powers. Okay. We talked about principalities, you know. See, see, all things were given to Yahweh Shai. Okay. As far as 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 a form of power, um, you know, uh when it goes into principalities, you know, uh how how uh, birds fly, how air is, how water rains. It doesn't, you know what I mean. All all of those are principalities. It's a principle. It's it's not going to change. But it was given to you how shot. And Lord willing, we are those men's men's. <laughs> we are those men to be joint heirs uh, uh, with you how shot. Okay, to receive that ultimate spiritual power in which He was given. Okay, you know. At, at to where we're we're joined, you know, uh that marriage that's spoken of in the scriptures, you know, to where ultimately a that's gonna be that governing body, that 144,000 immortal spiritual men, okay, that uh follow the lamb whithersoever he go. And that's right. power in itself, you know, like like we cannot devalue the power of these holy scriptures you know and, and and you see that i think we had brought up the book of eli and then even in the uh i, I believe it's the movie 12 years the slave where uh they had that young jake reading the bible you know he was using subtility acting like he couldn't read hmm. i think it was 12 years a slave but then went into the uh outhouse with all the rest of the slaves and started reading no that was uh was that Nat Turner, uh, The Birth of a Nation? It sounded like it. it sounded yeah, yeah, that's what it was. It was Birth of a Nation. So, so the, the point being here is this. This is not just a book, okay? Right. This is a holy book for holy men of Israel, okay? Right. That is the power. The power is knowing that these words are what elevate us past this wicked carnal fleshly world of stupidity and gives us uh, uh, ways and conduct of how to act towards righteousness and really to be those examples as Yahweh Shah is for us. You got it, bro. Yeah, it's like any, you know, any appliance. It's like that laptop you got, you know, without without the uh, the cord or a juice source, it's just a, a piece of plastic, you know? Well, like with this book, if, if you ain't got the, the uh, energy source, if you're, not, if you're not plugged in to the most high in the spirit, then, then it is for you, it's just a book. But yeah, for us, because the spirit turned it on for us, yeah, it, this book is life. It is all, all in all, man, you know? Common, brother. Yeah, um, any comments on the on the comment board? Man, it probably is, brother. Uh I'll check that real quick. Um, this is uh Royal C uh Proverbs 8 and 11. It says, For wisdom is better than rubies, and all and all the things that may be desired are not to be compared to it. Yeah, man. Mm. Hey, Jim, that's Winnipeg prophets. He went to Proverbs 25, too. You know, we, didn't we bring out Proverbs 25 and 14? Come. Yeah, yeah, he got 20, Proverbs 25 and 2. It is the glory of the Most High to conceal a thing, but the honor of the kings, yeah, the kings is to search out a matter. Mm. Mm hmm Yep. Yep. Exactly. Because that's that's that wisdom. That's that knowledge. That's that spiritual understanding. You know, because the Lord ain't just gonna hand it over. You know, He want to see some effort. You know, yeah, right. just like any any father in relationship to his son. You know, He just ain't gonna hand over a billion dollar corporation. He's gonna be like, all right, well, you know, look, you can intern for a while, right? right. You know, but you gonna have to prove your worth. You know, you and, and so I'm more so. Yahweh by Shimei Hawashai and Yahweh Shai, you know, the kingdom eternally, you know, he, he, he wants you to prove yourself. So he's going to hide it, 
you know, and see if uh, what does the scripture say? Um, about um, seeking ye shall find. You gotta have yeah, the initiative, yeah. right? You know, yeah. you you gotta want salvation for yourself and for your family, and you know whatever you know you your desire is for for for, for just salvation or or to be in order. But if you're not seeking those things, then then why would the Lord just give it to you? you you're not going to value it. You know? Right. Exactly. That, that's why scripture said earlier in Colossians, it said about having patience and long suffering with joyfulness because we're on the road to salvation. You know, that straight gate, you know, that, that narrow path, you know, we own the road. Most people, don't even know they, they don't even care about it and they're going to receive destruction so yeah it should be joyful because these words are life as the elder was talking about and it's our power okay yep. it's it, it's it's going to be the reason why in jacob's trouble okay everybody's going to be flipping their wig and you're going to be sitting there cold chilling like yep Yep, this is, woo, damn, hey, woo, you know, <laughs> you're gonna be seeing the spirits of vengeance just, you know, lacing people up. And that scripture said, man, hey, none of those things are gonna come and you know, come by you, man. That's our belief, that's our hope, man. That's what we trust in, you know. That's it, bro. All right, this, this is Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is his treasure. And we started off like with that fear, you know. So, yeah, like the brother saying, we, we're going to be, we're going to have level heads when everybody else are losing it because that's when that, that's, that's when the world is going to know that, man, this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding has some value to it after all. But it's going to be too late to try to get it. You know? And and we we valuing it now. And as the scripture says, uh, Matthew the 6th chapter, around the 19th verse, we are storing up our treasures in heaven. The knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Most High's word. Um, basically building upon that kingdom that kingdom of God or power being in us, you know, we're strengthening it, building upon it, right. you know, fortifying it, you know, by, by constantly getting into this word, being fed a constant diet of this word. You understand? Which, yeah, this, that's what's going to hold us down as the scripture says. Yeah, brother. Con, this is a uh, real quick uh, wisdom of Solomon three and one. It says, but the souls of the righteous are in the hand of Yahweh, and there shall no torment touch them. In the sight of the unwise, they seem to die, uh -huh. and their departure is taken for misery, and they're going from us to be utter destruction, but they are in peace. Mm -hmm. it says, yeah, boom, boom, Young, 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 yeah, good. <laughs> young, young bond. <laughs> it says, and having, oh, uh, <laughs> verse four, it says, for though they be punished in the sight of men, yet is their hope full of immortality. Um, verse five, it says, and having been a little chastised or chastened, they shall be greatly rewarded. For Yahweh proved them and found them worthy for himself. Con, hey, that's, con, it, man. that's right. That's right. So, so yeah, hey, like you were saying, we value it now. You know? Yep. We 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 see the value in the power and the truth and the revelations and the name, um, in the in the brotherhood, in the body, um, every the 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 living water, we see the value in it all. And right. hey, man, hey, that's our hope. You know, scripture say we're prisoners yep. of hope. So. But but hey, these prisoners of hope are about to be loose. You know, that's right, brother. 
So and and, and yeah, how shy is the key, you know? So um Yeah, man. I guess thought I had something, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where it is, man. Uh, but it was on hope. But that's you know, I'm good. I. Okay. Okay. Hey, 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 hey! You might, you might just have to hit it, hit it on a lesson, you know. On yeah, a uh, lesson. Uh, that's right. Yeah. So, hey, man, hey, the water for you, you know, I can join in, you know, and any brothers that that may uh, view this video, uh, because um, this is this is a labor of love for us, you know, um, and we're washing off the blood, you know, from our hands as far as you know, giving warning to our people and having them understand, like. Uh, a great death is about to hit this land, you know, and uh, the Lord is going to be unmerciful, you know. So, uh, you know, seek seek the Lord while he may be found, you know. And right now you, you're in the presence of the spirit of the Lord and his men. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to this channel or any of the brothers of Great Millstone, um, I advise you to do so because uh, it's only for your own benefit, you know. And so, um, yeah, man, hey, through the spirit. Uh, once again, we like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah by Shem, Rakah Kodash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, teaching rule well, and peace and salutation to the elect Akim out here during this fight, pushing this word with faith, hope, and sincerity. And so, uh, hey, until the next time, man, we're going to say, hey, Shalom. Shalom, Akim. That's right, brother. Shalom.